Hi guys. So if you're in the body of Christ, you're part of the, you're the, um, in the family of God by faith in Jesus Christ that he came in the flesh and that he's coming. Um, if you believe that gospel that he, Christ died for our sins, was buried and resurrected, you're of the family of faith. And we share a common faith that Christ is, did the work for us. You are a city on a hill, a city that cannot be moved. You are lights because Christ came into you from heaven, making you a new creature in Christ. And he gave an earnest of his spirit. Christ cannot be divided because it's one body and one spirit. It's God's body, his temple, and God's spirit. We're born into the kingdom of God. We're born by faith. In Christ we're not born into Mary <laughs> we're born into the new Jerusalem and nobody leaving a building cannot separate Christ nobody can separate Christ because Christ is one spirit in earth we're walking around in earthen vessels our flesh earth earthen vessels like pots um, but inside of us is a new creature in Christ, given an earnest of the of the Spirit. When we he can't pour the whole Spirit in us, because if he did, if uh, it would be in this earth, it would destroy this. You know, it would destroy this earthen vessel. So we have new wine skins that when we see him, we will be like him. We will see that kingdom. We'll see the kingdom. It, we see the kingdom that it already is here by faith, by our common faith. We know that it's here. Um. Anyways, but false Christs have come in too, tares and wolves and sheep's clothing, and um, they seek to divide Christ with their false teachings and false prophecy. Um, men crept in unawares, unnoticed, and they sound like sheep, they look like sheep, but they're really not sheep. So just know that if you believe the gospel that makes peace between us and God, you are in the, the tabernacle of God, tabernacling with him. But you're also in a temporary tent dwelling place that, that is the flesh. It's a temporary dwelling place. Um, so we are Sukkoting with God. Once you believed, you're already Sukkoting with God. You're already tabernacling with God. It's done. So <laughs> I just wanted to encourage you all that don't worry. Christ cannot be divided. <laughs> If Christ is living in you by your faith in Jesus Christ and the work that God did, um, Christ is moving you. Um, and this tabernacle will pass away. I'm going to do another video about this here in a minute. Christ cannot be divided. I've done videos on it before. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. Don't lose your flavor. And do not let anyone steal your crown. Don't let anyone steal the liberty that you have in Christ. Don't let anybody tell you that it's it's what you do. It's not. It's what he did um, on the cross, the work while he was walking. His words are true and faithful. And our spirit obeys his spirit because Christ obeyed the Father and did the work. And when we are in him, we are God sees us as he sees his son, Jesus Christ holy and perfect before God. Um, and our body, our flesh, you know, if we if we agree with sin in our flesh and our members, you know, our flesh is going to die. We're going to suffer you know, chastisement and we're, we're going to be handed over to the enemy to harm us. But if we're living by the Spirit, um, you know, walking in the Spirit, and even then, Jesus and his apostles were living by the spirit and what happened to them <laughs> they were harmed you know they walked with no money with no purse and uh, they were persecuted the flesh is going to persecute the spirit because we're ambassadors but guess what there are many lights in the earth now the light is overcoming the darkness because the kingdom of god is is the new jerusalem is is being is is completely i believe it's completed but it's it's um, more people are understanding that and realizing that it is a completed work of God um, because it's all finished. They just 
haven't seen it yet. They just don't believe it yet. They don't believe him yet. But it will come sight when we see him. It's in his light that we see light. It's not in our own light works, in our own spirit. It's in his light, in his Holy Spirit, in his spirit of holiness, in his spirit of truth, that we will see him because we will be like him because his spirit came in and joined our spirit. Jesus has fire in his eyes to light the lamps. He comes in like a marriage. His spirit and our spirit become one in a marriage. All right. God bless you guys. And remember, Christ cannot be divided. He is God. <laughs> we are not God. We become children of God being born of his spirit. God bless you all. Born into the spirit kingdom. All right. This, this kingdom on earth is temporal. His kingdom is everlasting. This kingdom, Satan seeks to, to observe times and seasons. Timekeeping. In his kingdom, we are everlasting. It's an everlasting kingdom. And we just are. And we are enjoying. And when we had been there for 10,000 years, because we have seasons um, praising God, it will be as if, you know, time really wasn't because we don't understand that concept in this world because we just are looking at the clock 24-7. It's not the same kind of time. A thousand years here is as a day in the kingdom of heaven. So that's why he says 10,000 years. So he's saying that's a long time. You know, a thousand years is a long time. It's been 2,000 years since Christ died for our sins. But it's only been two days to the kingdom of heaven. So it's fresh in heaven. And Christ's death, burial, and resurrection and his ascension to heaven was fresh in heaven. And they've got the banquet tables laid out. They've got, they're ready for the wedding supper of the Lamb. It's exciting. We are feasting right now, eating with Christ and the meat that Christ ate here on earth, which is conquering the beasts. <laughs> Every day we're conquering beasts and we're eating. We're eating. It's spiritual food. You gotta eat the bread of life, Jesus. But it's his word. It's it's by his living waters that we, we have we, we can we can eat and drink. Jesus said, drink of my living waters and you will live forever. Anyways, this earth, this universe is about ready to go up in fervent heat. And what will be left? What be, will be left? What, what is left in you? If Christ came in you and made you a new creature, a heavenly creature, with his holiness, with his Holy Spirit, and you've you've received the eternal kingdom and you've received an inheritance because he's an heir of the kingdom, heaven and earth. You've received the kingdom. The kingdom has come unto you. That, this is great news and it's nothing that we have done. It's good news because he did it. He poured out his book of life, his blood spilt. And my book of life is, is no good, but he makes it good. He makes me holy but in my flesh i have sin so i testify of this world and my flesh that it is evil but i testify that in god he is good and his mercy endureth forever so if you're one not of the faith believe on jesus christ that he came in the flesh and you will be a child of god born in the spirit not born into Mary, that's a false teaching, that's a heresy. When you're born again, you're born into the Spirit. And then your mother, your father, your brothers are New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem are living stones made of God, not of man's hands. Living stones are people like me who believe and put their trust in what Jesus did. And the cross works in our life. <laughs> what he did is the work in our life now and he's our husband he comes in it's it's, it's like a husband he, he uses these examples so his spirit came in and joined my spirit so we're intimate together it's an intimacy that that no one can still and this is all explained in the word of god i could find these scriptures and 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 i'm sure many of you have 
the two have become one. It's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me, the hope of glory. I haven't received the fullness yet, the filling. I mean, I've got the filling of the Spirit, but as much as this body can handle, when we see him, we will receive our immortality and our incorruptible bodies. He is a flesh and bone man. No blood will inherit the kingdom of heaven. No blood. It's those who are saved, the nations who are saved that will worship God. You must be in his light to worship him. The kings of the earth, like me and my brothers and sisters who really put their trust in Jesus Christ and what he's done, they're my brothers and sisters. They're the kings of the earth that bring the glory to the, to the Father in the kingdom of heaven. In Christ, through the body of Christ, through Jesus Christ, our high priest, we bring the glory and praise to God every day. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Praise you, God. Singing praises, worship songs with each other. That's bringing the glory of God into him. Now, I was given a trumpet and fire from God to speak. The trumpet does many things, and the fire is his word. And yes, he is as a roaring lion. A lot of people are saying that he isn't. Um, the word of God, this is, is uh, the spirit, speaks like a fire. He says, isn't my word a fire and my ministers a flame a fire? So um, we aren't destroying anyone. <laughs> and hopefully we don't cut anybody, you know, in a way that harms them because we must be um, as doves by the Holy Spirit. But it's not us working it's God doing the work it were the roar of many waters too that's the lion the, the waters is the Holy Spirit the roar the thunder um, and all of these things are ways of explaining the body of Christ in, in earth and vessels and how they are marching with Christ who walks among the lampstands and how he is doing work because the Holy Spirit wins the war the Holy Spirit's doing the work Rain comes from heaven. It's a it's a heavenly rain. Um, and he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh. Men and women and children are um, proclaiming God, proclaiming Christ, proclaiming his good works and his good news that he came to save the world and redeem the world from their sins and death. See, in heaven, there's no death or dying. It's so exciting. I cannot wait. And his new worlds and the the worlds that he's creating and created, and um, it, we're going to be um, his children forever. We're children of God. We're saints of God. We're priests of God only because it's Christ in us, the royal kingdom, the royal priesthood. We are royalty. All right. God bless you all. And keep telling everyone the good news of Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection for their sins and to defeat death. Death has no sting anymore on us. It tries to hold us. It tries to sting us. It tries to remind us of our sins. It tries to tell us we're not worthy. No, we're not worthy. But now we are made worthy and holy and able to go boldly to the throne of grace and mercy, which is our God. He is full of grace and mercy. He is mercy. He is always there. All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anyone who calls on him will be saved. This is good news. It's easy to be saved. Faith saves. Abraham was saved by faith. And God cut the covenant with Abraham while he was sleeping. Just like he makes a covenant with us. He calls us. He chooses us first. We don't choose ourselves while we're sleeping in the dead flesh. We're moving about and having our, our being, but we're really asleep, really in dead flesh without Christ before we knew him. Now we know him and his word speaks to us. It's so awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just pray everyone out there has the peace of God and may his light shine upon you. May he give you peace and may his face shine upon us. I'm looking for his face every day. I want to see his face. Show us your glory, God. Show us your face. We love you. God bless.